Kanye West, the greatest artist of all time. I am the number one most impactful artist of our generation. He has made some of the best music of our time. Influenced so many people in so many ways from music to fashion. And as a huge fan of Kanye West, sometimes I wish he would shut the f*** up on certain topics. When you hear about slavery for 400 years, for 400 years? That sounds like a choice. But if wishes were horses, I would ride them because fuel prices are crazy right now. I love Kanye West so much. I've studied the man for a long time now. And it's, it's not just because of the great music that he has made over the years, but it's because he has given us great internet moments like this. <laughs> In that particular moment, he was Kanye West Africa. Over the years, Kanye West has said so many things that have gotten him in so much trouble. And for the most part, he has been fine. He'll say something crazy, people go crazy, and then he'll do something crazy. But this time, Ye may actually be done because he broke one very, very big law of power. Law number 19. Know who you're dealing with. Do not offend the wrong person. Kanye West, the juice. Are you crazy? <laughs> because for all these years, Kanye West has said so many things about so many groups, especially his own people. And the worst that could happen to him those times was just controversy, people shouting, all that stuff. But this time he made some comments that were very hateful to the Jewish community. You know, things that people normally say like, and the Jews control the media, and the Jews control everything. And those things are hateful because that's the same narrative that the Nazis used to get rid of the Jews. You know that thing that happened in recent history where that man with a mustache squeeze the juice out of the juice and by juice I mean life now after he said that to show him that he was wrong uh, they went ahead and removed him from almost everything he's a part of to show him that he was wrong for saying that they control everything so they removed him from everything I could say anti-semitic things and Adidas can't drop me now what Like Mel Gibson, Braveheart, something came out about him not liking Jews and he was done. And when I found out that Mel Gibson made the Passion of, of the Christ, it all made sense to me. If he doesn't like Jews, then it makes sense for him to make a movie where he kills the king of the Jews in the worst way possible. Now what y'all laughing at? <laughs> and right now, I wouldn't want to be in his shoes. Well, actually, I would want to be in his shoes, but I just cannot afford them. Especially now that Adidas has cut ties with him and everybody who owns the original Yeezys are going to sell them for like thousands of dollars. Now, at this point in time, Yeezys cost way more than the price of his ex-wife's sex tape. And she don't think I feel bad that I invited all these- One very funny thing I saw was Kim Kardashian's tweet, where she said something like she stands with the Jews and she doesn't support hateful things and anti-Semitism and stuff like that. I saw the tweet and I was like, <laughs> Kim, all the stuff you have said about black people all these years, now we get a statement. All that time when you were with him and he said those things about his own people, you know the people that you really, really love, really, really love. Also, does any community give a fuck what Kim has to say about them, apart from all the little girls who wish they were Kim? Because she still is one of the hottest women in the world right now, you know. Hottest woman in the world sounds very weird for Kim because she's also like 80% plastic. And as we know, plastic and heat is like Kanye West and Juice. They don't really work well together. So if she's the hottest, she's supposed to like self-destruct. We do, so I can't be anti-semite. But this whole thing got me thinking about the famous argument of should you separate the art from the artist? Can you still listen to Kanye West even after everything he has said about every community at this point? I mean, the guy came for Trevor Noah, okay? Like, I'm not even South African, but I'm African. So that one is it's kind of personal to me. And I love Trevor Noah. Trevor Noah, not even from America. Right. He just looked black. Right. Now back to the argument, should you separate the artist from the art? And it's not just about Kanye West, it's about any other artist who has done, you know, has made great art, but they've also done horrible things like R. Kelly or Bill Cosby. Should you still watch my videos if you found out that I eat dog meat or that my favorite music is country music? Well, that's a long answer and it's a short answer. For the sake of the girls, we'll start with the long one. Because it's like my huge c one of the reasons people say you cannot separate the art from the artist is that if you know an artist is doing something wrong and you still listen to their music or you so you watch their movie so you support their art in any way then you are supporting their actions too because you are putting money in their pockets that is the argument because why in the world would anybody knowingly consume products from people who are doing very evil things in the world. So tell me right now, if you're deleting Kanye West's music or anybody's music or anybody's movies or, or you're unsubscribing from Netflix or Spotify because of what, 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 are you going to put an iPhone down? Are you going to put a Cerillac down? Because you're telling me you cannot separate the art from the artist because the artist is doing something wrong, but here you are.
Well, I'll kill that fucking chicken. But here you are knowingly separating companies from their products. Or, or I would to say it's different because it's you know art is different from products, right? Like yes, smartphones are made on the blood of little children, but that's not that's not really a choice you can make, right? You need a smartphone. But what about the Serilac? Do you need a Serilac? Do you need it? You know what Nestle is doing. You know the kind of things they're doing in the world. Do you need their products? Because I do, okay? I do. I need it. I cannot do without Sarah. Like, are you crazy? I'm, not, I'm never going to stop eating that thing. It tastes too good. <laughs> hey, boy. Regret. Hey, hey boy. Don't call hey me boy. boy. Don't. And so that leads us into the short answer, which is yes you should and you can't separate the art from the artist because you are doing it every single day in every single fucking way so many of our heroes people we admire in history to now were flawed some of them were downright wicked so what's the problem if every now and then i want to step in the name of love it's a great song they play that weddings and engagements in ghana all the time i know he did horrible things but the music is great are you telling me i shouldn't sing i'm the star up in the sky I'm that mountain pick up high. I shouldn't say that anymore. Are you serious? That's the song I'll play when I hit 1 million subscribers. I saw people were mad on Twitter because Spotify said they are not going to take down Kanye West music and people were saying that I'm going to cancel my subscription. I'm going to remove my, my subscription. The same thing they did with Netflix when... Uh, was it Netflix? Yeah, they did the same thing with Netflix with uh, Dave Chappelle and they did it with uh, Spotify with Joe Rogan. Uh, yo, I'm so tired of this. I'm going to unsubscribe from the platform because you're allowing this person to be on the... Shut the fuck up. You're fucking dumb if you're going to choose platforms based on people you don't like on the same platform if that made any sense if you're going to do that then you can't use anything you can't even use youtube you're going to cancel spotify because they're not taking out Kanye West music Kanye West music is on youtube too you're going to i'm going to stop coming on here too are you fucking crazy because either way you're putting money into the company's pockets that you, you can't run away from it also if you think those other people are evil they are good people on the platform the good people need your money too but it's provocative no it's not it's gets gross. the people going and here's why i say but the fact that everybody is already doing it doesn't make it right right the fact that everybody is using something or listening to music or watching movies that is made on blood money doesn't make it right and this is where i give you a fancy conclusion speech telling you that separating the artist from the art should be a personal choice you can decide whether or not to listen to kanye west i'm still going to listen to him that beautiful dark twitter fantasy greatest album of all time i'm bumping that shit right after i finish shooting this kanye west music has been a huge part of my life i'm not letting that go yet because he made comments about certain people like no but if you decide to delete all his music because it doesn't go according to your own personal values that's fine what you shouldn't do is get on this moral high ground of telling other people that they shouldn't listen to his music or they should delete his music because he's hateful and da 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 da, da. nobody gives a fuck like if, if you're going to go by that if you're going to use that as a moral shield and say nobody should nobody should listen to Kanye West music because he said bad things about black people and Jews then you 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 wouldn't be able to use anything you have to give up your serilac I'm just extremely happy can you tell by my face i still won't ask you to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell i will ask you to leave a comments below let me not think about the video let me not think about this whole thing you know about uh separating the arts from the artist you know um it's a it's a crazy thing you know a lot of uh, it happens a lot when somebody does something bad like when Kanye West has a controversy so many people claim that they don't support him anymore and so many people to support him no matter what and you know they, everything he does is great in their eyes because they are Kanye West stars and that's the last thing I'll say don't be a stand all right leave a comment share the video let me know what you think and I'll see you guys soon in another video never ever ask you to like and subscribe but you go fish share my video if you know you're feeling my fight People are gonna never ever ask you to like and subscribe But you go fish share my video if you know you're feeling my fight Feeling my fight